In this video, I'm going to be paying game developers on Fiverr to make a horror game. Horror games have been a popular video game genre over the past few years, so I thought it would be interesting to pay game developers on Fiverr to make one. Now, when I say make a horror game, I haven't actually told them specifically what I want, I just asked them to make a horror game. Let's see what we get. For the first game, we found a seller on Fiverr named Nicholas Logabo. This seller offered a service where they would develop a 2D game in Unity. So I reached out to them and asked them to make a horror game. They accepted and we received our first game. Before we give it a try, I'd like to quickly mention that if you want to play any of the games from this video, they're available on my Patreon over at patreon.com slash badgamedev. Anyway, let's check out the first game. All right guys, and here we are with our first horror game. So it looks like we've got a main menu here that says don't leave your jail cell okay and my only option is okay I won't so let's click it and all right so it looks like we've uh, entered some type of maze uh, we've got a character down there that we can control and I imagine we have to um, avoid the guards so I guess if we go this way and we go down here we can um, we can get through and I assume that's the uh, exit over there so cool pretty pretty straightforward so far all right let's go down let's go out here I escaped or did you? So that was our first game. Overall, the game was very short. It's basically a maze game where you try and get to the end of the maze while avoiding enemies. The only real horror element was the ending, but I can't blame the seller for this. The only thing I asked the seller to do was make a horror game. And it's up to the sellers to interpret this however they want. So in a way, this game works. Good job. For the second game, we reached out to a seller on Fiverr named Lee Minato. Now, we've worked with Lee Minato before in two of my other Fiverr videos. Lee Minato created Gunner Runner when I asked Fiverr game developers to make an endless runner shooter and they also created this platform shooter when I asked Fiverr game developers to make a platform shooter. This seller offered a service where they would develop a game in Game Maker. So I asked them to make a horror game, they accepted and we received this. Alright guys and here we are with our second game. Any key to start so let's uh, start the game and see what we're in for. Alright here we go, controls. So I move with WASD, I aim with my right mouse button, I shoot with my left Left mouse button. I've got roll slash skill check with space and I can open doors with E. All right, let's get into it. So we've spawned in here and uh, oh, I like it. I like the environment. Now the developer did mention that all the assets in this game are sort of placeholders. They weren't able to really find assets that went with the theme of the game, but I, I think this style looks pretty cool. I like it. So I've got my character here. It looks like I'm sort of in some type of room and I can uh, walk around. I can't jump, which makes things interesting. I find in horror games, uh, the limited movement really makes things a lot more suspenseful so it's pretty cool that I can't jump but I can roll so that's that's cool and uh, I can aim my aim my gun and shoot all right nice so let's just uh, carry on and then see what we do E to open door let's go and there's a zombie all right so let's try to aim at the zombie let's go for a headshot and I just I completely missed <laughs> all right let's try for boom no I missed again okay so it's hard to aim but I feel like that's a good thing when it comes to a horror game so let's uh oh no now there's two all right let's just shoot all right now they're running at me now they're running at me all right I got one I got one oh okay all right so it looks like there's a timer here and I need to fight them off by okay I, I lost okay so that's a pretty interesting mechanic when the zombie sort of collides with you that that little uh, circle thing pops up and I imagine you have to press space when it hits the the point All right, let's just let's just try it and see see if we can get it so let's go back to the main menu start the game again and get right back into it all right so let's uh go through the door and uh, we're gonna be faced with a zombie straight away and he sees me straight away no no okay let's uh let's try to do this so I've missed that one got that one he got me. <laughs> he got me again. All right, I really like that mechanic. I think that's pretty cool. This game's really unique. I like the way it's been made. It's definitely a challenge so far. So let's uh, keep going and see if we can uh, see if we can win. All right, we're gonna let the zombie walk off. He's not gonna walk off too far. Let's shoot and shoot again. Nice. Boom. Again. All right, we're going back in there. Maybe I'll be able to pass the first wave of zombies. Let's see. We've got this one, which we can easily shoot and then go again once it reloads. Nice. And let's see if I can just shoot in this direction and take out the other zombie. Okay, so I think that shot hit him. One more. Nice. All right, we've done it. Let's uh, roll and uh, let's carry on through the level. All right, there's another door. So let's go up here, go through the door and uh, another zombie. All right, let's, let's just take it out quick. Boom. Nice. All right, so we're not doing too bad. There's another zombie. All right. Oh man. No, yeah. Cool, and one more. Nice, all right. 
Okay, I really like that. So we've 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 passed all the zombies so far. Let's go up this ramp. Okay, let's try to take this guy out before he gets to us. Nope. Oh man. Nice. Oh no, another zombie. Boom. 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 Cool. Let's uh, go down here. Uh, oh god. Can we shoot the zombie? No, we can't. What have we done? You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. We got pretty far. Um, I, I don't know how long the game goes for, but I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> At least I got through the first couple of stages. So that was our second game. Overall, this game was very creative and well made. The mechanics were unique and it had many different horror elements, such as the darkness, the atmosphere, the zombies, and the overall gameplay. Great work. Before we move on to the third and final game, I'd like to take a second to tell you about our sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes and members from all around the world. I think Skillshare is one of the best tools for game developers as there are hundreds of different classes on game development and other things that are useful for game development. A class that I've found very helpful on Skillshare is Game Development and Introduction to Unity for Absolute Beginners by Diego her error. The class is perfect for game development beginners as it runs you through the basics of the C Sharp programming language along with 3D animation in Unity, creating 3D environments and working with other features in Unity. If you would like to join Skillshare and get access to this class and thousands of other classes, the first 1000 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So if you'd like to learn game development or other skills that will help you with game development join Skillshare today. For the third and final game, we found a Fiverr seller named the designer underscore zero. This seller offered a service where they would create a full 3D horror game with Unreal Engine. So I asked them to make a horror game, they accepted, and we received this. All right guys, and here we are in the third and final game, The Bunker Tapes. So uh, let's create a new game and let's see what it's all about. All right, so here we go. Uh, it looks like we've spawned in, in a room here. Uh, where am I? Is, is this a bunker? Uh, we got a light flashing. Um, okay, I'd like to start by saying, wow, this game is really well made, even though I haven't really played anything at the minute. It's just 3D game, incredible. So let's, um, I guess, walk around, figure out our controls. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, sort of pressing random buttons at the minute just to see what works, but it looks like uh, Z is to walk forward um, so we can, yeah, look around the room. So there's a flashlight, cool. And then I can press F and turn it on, nice. Okay, I'm not entirely sure where I am, but uh, let's just keep looking around and see what we can find. Okay, there's a door there. Let's, can we go through the door? There is no key, okay. So I need to find a key, that's, that's, that's what we need to do. So let's see, can I, is there anything in these? Can I, can I open these? Can I, what if I click the handle? Oh, okay. Okay, that, something happened. I clicked on that and something's happened. All right, let's check our diary. Leave the room, okay. Oh man, all right. Uh, can we get through here? Yes, we can. But before we do that, let's look around. Okay, so it seems like uh, you're in a bunker. Um, okay, diary updated. Shit, what? What? What is this? Is this the, uh, is this the outside? Oh no, what's happened? Oh no. Check the diary. She, what? Oh, whoa, what the heck? Yo, what? Okay, um, so I think I've lost. <laughs> so the third and final game was a 3D horror game created in Unreal Engine. The mechanics of the game were incredible. There was a lot to the game and I really enjoyed it. Great work. And that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, if you'd like to play any of the games in this video, they're available on my Patreon over at patreon.com slash badgamedev. I'd like to once again thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Remember, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, feel free to leave a comment, and you can also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace.